Now, you play DCI Paul Bethel. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about him and how your character fits into the overall picture? Right, so this is um, a story, it's a, obviously a real life crime and it's, um, it's, a, it's not an easy watch, I'll say that to begin with. It's quite a, a tough watch because it's, uh, it's about three girls um, that were brutally raped and murdered back in 1973. Um, and it wasn't until the early 2000s with the invention of DNA um, that they were able to reopen the case and come to some sort of conclusion mm. and find out who the actual killer was through through DNA. So it was an extraordinary, you know, scientific um, approach as well to policing. So we'd gone from quite a, you know, the 70s way of policing, which was still old typewriters and filing cabinets yeah. and things, suddenly to the early 2000s, and we're, we're into the science mm. um, of, of forensics and stuff. So there were many people involved in this, but Paul Bethel was the, a very junior uh, policeman back in 73. Um, and because they never had a resolution to these crimes, there was always something within him and, and for the families, particularly for right. the families, because I think what's important, it's very difficult sometimes making true life drama, a uh, crime drama, and it becoming sensationalised. Um, and with a story such as this, um, we had a brilliant writer in Ed Whitmore, uh, a fantastic director in Mark Evans and our producer, Hannah Thomas, who, who all really handled this so carefully and with such sensitivity um, and approached the families before anything was written and done to, to get their approval. Um, so really, uh, in, in many respects, that side of the story is about coping with grief mm. and loss for them. Um, and Paul basically wanted to find that some sort of... I mean, we always talk about the word closure. And it was interesting, because when I met Paul, he, he told me um, that he never used the word closure, because there is no closure. When you've lost a child, mm. you know, there's nothing worse. Mm, there he is, there. There, there he is, yeah. And that's Jackie Roberts, yeah. who was integral to, uh, to the case because she was Paul's boss. All right. And this is Jackie, who joined the force in the early 80s when there was still only 3% of women in the police force. So oh. she'd, she'd had to cope yeah. with a hell yeah. of a lot. Yeah. Um, and, and as I said, it was great because they're still great friends to yeah. this day. And through her sort of actions, and then it had to go all the way to, to, the, uh, to the home office, to the, the home, which was uh, David Blunkett, who had to yeah. approve it, to, you know, for them to exhume the grave. Mm. And so Paul was just diligent. He wanted peace of mind, obviously, for himself, but ultimately he wanted some sort of peace for the families. And that's why he was so diligent. And along with his partner, with um, Phil bach Reese, played by, um, by uh, Stefan Rodri, um, they reopened the case and... You know, it's, it's, as I said, it's not the easiest of watches, but it's, um, it's a fascinating story. Yeah, I feel yeah. you mentioned... Uh...